Davis will send it deep for UConn. And Roman Wilson is back at the goal line. And the flying Hawaiian will take it from the two and bring it out. And a pretty good return to the 28 yard. Play action. And a screen out to the edge to Roman Wilson. Gets a block, gets down the sideline. Wilson, tough to catch. All the way down inside the 30. The most impressive, it's great blocking by the receivers. It's Eric All, the tight end on the inside, and Cornelius Johnson on the outside. He was in on that last tackle. And now it's Corum getting outside to the 15. Corum looking for the pylon. Touchdown. But here is the blocking on the perimeter. Getting Blake Corum, the junior, in space. He finishes it and puts Michigan up by seven. Robert Burns in motion on third down. A wide receiver. Tunnel screen goes nowhere. Aaron Turner is immediately dropped. Play action fake for Turner. Out to the sideline. That's good for a first down. Zion Turner to Aaron Turner. His energy is infectious. Dropping the ball and picking it back up at losing yardage. Is Turner. Saber still came through and made the stop. It's a loss of four. Freshman just took his eyes off the ball as he goes to make the handoff to Victor Rosa, the running. Saber still creeps up to that right edge. It is only a four man rush. Turner out of the pocket, looking to extend the play. Gets to the sideline, flips one. It caroms and it's almost intercepted on the carom. Bo Estes had it go right through his hands. It looks like he is already tapping the defensive coaches saying, I can get back in there. Maybe after this play, second down and long for Michigan. Play action. McCarthy, all day to throw. Finds a crosser on time for a first down. Has been something that stood out early in his career. Seven tight ends can play for Michigan. They've got three of them out there blocking for McCarthy. And McCarthy does damage now with his legs. It's first and goal. But when he gets in the open field, he can move. Number 82, Max Bredesen out front. You get blocking downfield by Andrell Anthony. And Jim Harbaugh told us that. Second down and goal for Michigan from the six. Corum takes a hit. Drives his legs to the one-yard line. It will be third down and goal. Malik Dixon-Williams was able to make the stop for UConn. Make it four tight ends as Bredesen, one of those tight ends, lines up as the fullback. Corum again over the pile. Zone for a Michigan touchdown. Two touchdowns for Cora to start things off for the Wolverines. Job by the Michigan offensive line, getting a little bit of push, opening up just a small gap. Blake Corum sees it. Rosa again, lost the football, and Michigan's got it. Chris Jenkins jumps on top. True freshman quarterback, true freshman running back, and Victor Rosa just doesn't secure it as a running back. Sometimes you get a little excited. You want to start to make your moves and start to read the defense before you have the ball secured, especially when you're in a big environment against a historic team. Running back build, good returner, very flexible piece. Play action. McCarthy off his back foot, floats one end zone. Incomplete. Ronnie Bell thinks he made an incredible catch, staring down a cheering section behind the end zone, but the officials say no. Look. The coverage is all over Ronnie Bell. It's a heck of a throw, giving him a chance. And yeah, I agree with their ruling on the field, at least from that angle. Looks like that ball comes down, hits the ground before he has a chance to secure it, but even getting to that ball. The Mizzou transfer, and the nickel safety Chris Sheeran gets the pass defensed for Jim Mora. So it is a chip shot field goal attempt that is put through by the Groza winner from last year, Jake Moody. So George Carrington will kick it away once again. A.J. Henning deep to receive. Play clock goes down to zero. They get it off, and Michigan blocks the punt. 
It is loose at about the 39-yard line. Scooped up and running the near side. And getting bumped out of bounds. Looks like Jamon Green. Or check that. And Michigan is in plus territory again. There's Caden Colasar. They overload that gap in the punt protection, and he's able to get right through. Takes it off the punter's foot, which is exactly what you're supposed to do. At four, pardon me, at the 12. Slip pass out to the edge to Ronnie Bell. And he is brought down just inside the one-yard line, first and goal. And they'll hand it off to Blake Corum up the middle for an easy touchdown. His third of the first half. Pass to Ronnie Bell, gets you down close, and Blake Corum with a hat trick on the day. A lot of speed to the wide side of the field for Michigan. McCarthy. Out of the pocket. Still extending the play. Looking downfield. And he'll be brought down. Brandon Boye Randall is there again. J.J. McCarthy bought as much time as he could. The offensive line does a decent job. Only rushing three, but there's so many bodies clogging up lanes. But with Kale Millen in the game, I mean, you said it. There's just so many players around the line of scrimmage. It's going to be tough to do anything, even in short yardage. So A.J. Henning, returnable from the 39-yard line. Breaks a couple of tackles. Henning to midfield. Left speed. Breaks another tackle. Henning down the sideline. Looking for the pylon after a cutback. He's got a Michigan touchdown. the number of missed tackles one two three guys have a chance at him and then when you get in the open field and you allow a punt returner like that to have space it is bad news play action on the rollout McCarthy fires one across his body on the move wide open down inside the five yard line goes Schoonmaker to the one this game but he has to get around the defender so you see the burst and after that burst the difficulty the level of difficulty that it is to throw back across your body accurately to your tight end so that he can do something as Corum is the eye back looking potentially for his fourth rushing touchdown of the first half and he has got it a career high in rushing touchdowns for Blake Corum. And we still have three minutes to go in the second quarter. Consistently getting small chunks of yardage. 11th play of the drive. Corum. Cutback. Touchdown number five. know what five out of 12 is but it's pretty close to 50 percent of it Ash empties the backfield quarterback keeper orgy breaks a tackle touchdown and Michigan continues to pour it on all six Michigan touchdowns on the ground he holds an annual charity football camp for kids, a free football camp to come and spend the day on his own dime. As Bowman climbs the pocket, dumps one off. Getting to the sideline, Franklin reaches it out. Is he in? He is. Another Michigan touchdown. Allen Bowman. On that play, does he stay in bounds? It looks like that foot does stay in bounds. Question is, does the knee hit? Before he gets in the end zone. I think the hand plants. The right knee certainly He's up. good. That's yep. a touchdown. Touchdown. And the absolute 
domination continues. So the largest home shutout since 1975. 59 to nothing will be your for final. Michigan over UConn. And now the Big Ten schedule starts next week for number four.